Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me for a scrapbook layout for Kidaholics kits using the fantastic January kits. I cannot believe it's January. Oh my goodness. Um, this kit is just so pretty. We have wonderful things from Maggie Holmes and Jen Hadfield. Um, it's just a really soft and subtle type kit this, this month and I'm sure you're going to absolutely love it. So I'm just giving you a little bit of a insight into some of the things we've received today. There's also those pink fresh um, embellishments and the thickers there, which has got some great phrases and they've got some really great little pieces as well. So some hearts and dots and arrows and things like that. I love it when you get that sort of thing with the thickers. It gives it such a, makes the, um, it's so versatile. The pattern papers as well are beautiful autumnal type colours, but we've also got some pinks and some of those corally colours as well. And yeah, it's just an absolutely lovely, pretty, pretty kit. And of course, I've fussy cut it already. Um, the, it's always the first thing I do when I start creating with my kits. Um, it is the easiest way for me to get to know the kit. Um, and I do have some uh, other layouts this time with some of those fussy cut out flowers as well. So my first layout of the month is actually a little bit of a, we got, um, Steph asked, gave us a few design prompts this month and I have gone with doing a scrap lift and also using the, the two inch, um, cut aparts as well. So I am scrap lifting the awesome DT member Jess Ware. Um, I'm sure you would be aware that um, she does absolutely amazing grid type layouts. Um, I love how she pulls them together and it's not something I generally do. So I thought it would be a great way to challenge myself and do a few grids on the page. Now I have cut out the pieces and I'm just sorting through them at the moment. There's quite a few of them that have some sentiments that didn't, wasn't going to work with my layout. These cut aparts are actually quite good for card makers. Um, you know, there's things like gratitude and thank you and things like that, um, which weren't going to help at all with my layout. And I've also used, so then I've, um, sort of started plotting out a little bit of where I was going to sit them on the page and I've also used the other side of that pink and pink dot page as well to break up some of the um, pieces of the pattern paper and <coughs> excuse me and I am going to yep use my T squared ruler just to initially line up and get a bit of a feel for where I'm going to place things across the page and I decided that I wanted to have my background as um, there's no mixed media on this one, except I do do some splatters later. Um, but I wanted that background of that pattern paper there is just so, so pretty. Um, and I thought I'd that give that a really good grounding place for my little squares there around the page. So off camera, once I'd sort of worked out where I was going to put everything, I did um, distress all the edges with my distress tool. It took quite a while, so I didn't film myself doing that. And then I have glued them onto the page. Now I wouldn't often normally put some of these onto some foam, but I felt that with putting some of the doing, doing the actual distressing, I didn't really need to do that. And I have also turned up the, the, the corners, um, around the the squares as well so I didn't think it really needed it but I have popped my photo up on some foam with just some craft foam from spotlight in the kids kids craft section um, it's not in the scrapbooking section um, I love that stuff it's so cheap it's like five dollars and you get a heap of it um, so yeah I use that on pretty much every single layout that photo I'm using today is me and my boy taken a long time ago. Um, it is again one of my photos from my stash that I'm really trying to, to, to make a dent in the printed photos that I have. And I thought the colour of my shirt and he's got a sort of maroney coloured um, collar 
around his t-shirt and I thought that worked perfectly with the colours of this collection. Uh, I don't often scrap in purple, although purple is one of my favourite colours, but I don't scrap purple a lot. Um, so I thought that was a great opportunity to use some of those purpley colours as well for this layout. I have just decided to use some of those pieces, um, some of the grid pieces as little embellishment cluster areas. So I've placed that little flower and a sentiment on that one on the left hand side there, sort of that second one up from the bottom. And I've added some butterflies around to the page as well. And I, as always, I you know me, if you've been following me or you, you um, have are following me on Instagram or any of my YouTube videos, I love to put lots of layers around. Um, so I felt that this was starting to look a little bit too, I don't know, not quite like me. Um, and so I, I do end up adding a heap more flowers around the, the photo and the cluster of that photo. So I'm just um, adding some sprinkles here around the page where I can. And then I go, no, I definitely need some more flowers. <laughs> So here I'm adding the additional ephemera and also the fussy cut out flowers as well. I have with my cluster, nearly every single one of my clusters, and I think this is why it wasn't looking right for me, I really like my clusters to be joined up together in some way. And originally I had the flowers sort of sitting at the top and at the bottom. So it just didn't look right for me. I really love cascading flowers around a photo or around some of the pattern paper or around mixed media. Uh, so that's why it didn't look quite right for me when I was starting to finish off the layout. I kept staring at it thinking, this isn't mine. It's not me yet. Um, I hope that makes sense. So I just add a few butterflies around the, a few more butterflies around the page as well from um, the sticker book I have place those little butterflies onto some white cardstock and cut fussy cut those out and just turn those into die cuts. I always find that's the best way to be able to use stickers. Um, I use more stickers if I turn them into little die cuts. Uh, I tend to not use a lot if um, I'm just placing them on the layout. They never look right because I like the lumpy bumpy um, effect of layouts. I do finish off the layout with a sprinkle of gold shimmer um, spray, which we got in one of our mixed media kits a few months ago. I think I've said it before. I love this shimmer page, um, this shimmer spray. It gives a, a lovely, lovely glimmer around the page. So I do sprinkle splatters quite heavily on the page. I will leave a link below to the store so you can check out how you can subscribe if you're interested. And I'll also leave a link to the Kidaholics um, community group on Facebook. And we would love to see, um, the design team love seeing what you create. So please share into our subbies group as well if you're a subscriber. I've got a few close-ups for you. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and I hope you have a great creating month. Bye for now.